What's up guys, here is Claudio from Visual Model WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to use the PostGrid WordPress plugin by Pike Plugins in your WordPress website so you can display your WordPress blog posts or portfolio posts or even shop posts in an elegant and nice grid. If you go to the plugin posts grid page in wordpress.org, you're gonna find links to the plugin documentation and to the plugin live demonstrative website. So you can see all the plugin options. Now you can see all the possible grids that you can achieve using this plugin. In my personal opinion, the most basic ones are the the better options but you have a lot of things to play with and of course this plugin gonna work for a lot of people I used to recommend this plugin in the case that you need some extra options for grading your posts or even portfolio posts gallery posts for example in your WordPress website for free and easier First of all, we're gonna need to install this plugin on our website. If you go to any visual model WordPress themes, you have options to grid your posts. For example, this one, we are using the portfolio element of our visual elements plugin that I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and a card over here for a video tutorial explaining how to use it in a complete way or even link into single posts in the case that you need. But in this video, we're gonna be using a free option, the posts grid. So go to your WordPress dashboard, plugins, add new in the search field type posts grid. And the very first one, this one by Pike plugins, you're gonna be installing this plugin. Of course, WordPress, there's a lot of plugins for grading your posts in an elegant form. But in this video, we're gonna be using this one that is the most used one. Click on install, after that click on activate button, and here we go. As soon as you activate the plugin, you're gonna find a new button on your WordPress left sidebar of Eatings, of tools, call it Post Grid. And you're gonna find options for the greeting. and for the layout editor, where you can change some models, some templates of the plugin. By default, I do not recommend that you change it, just start using the plugin so you can get familiar with it before you do change like this. And here you can find the layouts of the options. Now we're gonna be creating our first posts grid layout, so we can call it in a page. Okay, the very first thing to do is name, adding a title to the posts grid, the new post grid. You can create a post grid for your portfolio or you can create a post grid for your blog posts. I'm gonna call my blog because I'm gonna call, be calling the blog posts, whoever you can call the portfolio. If you click on post type, you can call WooCommerce products, you can call portfolio, you can call every single part of your site that you want. You can set the organization options of your posts, you can exclude some posts in the case that you don't want to show them. But by default, I'm gonna not be changing these options and just gonna be creating. Publish. So we can save. And now we're gonna click on the short codes button. So we can get the plugin short code to copy and post it in a page. So we can call the posts. The very first option, post is grid ID. I'm gonna be copying this and now I'm gonna call it on a page. So we're gonna move to WordPress dashboard, pages, add new. I'm gonna give this page a title. Now 
and post the short code get in the plugin page on it. Once I did set to call the blog posts, we're gonna be calling the blog posts on this page. And here we have the blog posts displayed in a grid. Of course, you can edit it and I'm gonna show this later, but this is just to show how easy it is to display the posts, a grid of posts on your WordPress website. Now, let me get the page permalink and let's start editing this grid. We're gonna move to skin and layout and change the style to the center, the flat center, for example, so we can align this content to the center. You can change the number of posts per page, the offset. Once we have a column with three posts, we need the three layout. So six or nine or 12. Now, back to skin and layout, we can select some skins. This one, for example, the last one, let me save the chance. And here we go. Let's explore a bit more of the plugin. The layout settings. Here you can change the sizes. You can change the, the amount of space that the grid takes on your page for every single part of the post's grid, even in mobile. You can change the age, the widget, the lace loading option, the lace loading icon, the grid item background color, the barging, the container option, the featured image size. And of course, the media source. Now, the search. In the case that you want, you can have a search icon to display in the top of the post's grid. This is good to blog or to knowledge base posts like documentation, for example. The icon is not displaying because some WordPress blocks the icons loading or because they do not have the font awesome icon, but you can upload this. I'm gonna explain how to do this later. The grid settings and the mass forming settings. This is in the case that you want to display the image in the real proportion, not in a grid where even if you upload different image size and proportions, the WordPress plugin is gonna display it in the same way. The grid is nice for very different images. You can see a great example of post grid usage in the homepage of the Pinterest network, social network. And finally, you can set the pagination. And it is, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And don't forget to check out the visual model portfolio of amazing WordPress themes with compatibility with this plugin. And it is, I see you later. All the best.